welcome back to my youtube channel it's good to see you back loves so i am back with a very highly requested video um because people were like no like i just jumped into the thing without having introduced myself to you guys because there are people that don't know me so today i'm here to answer some of your questions i made this thing the ask what was the thing again like what do you want to know about me on instagram and then there were like questions there but there were like not enough questions so i guess i'm also gonna go to google and like search for some get to know me questions and then answer those from there also oh so if you're new here please do subscribe and like and share the videos and i'm also very open to feedbacks if there's a video maybe you want me to do or if there's anything you didn't like about my video yeah I, i'm very cool with feedbacks and yes love so let's get right into it okay so the first question is oh also i'm going to keep the names anonymous like i'm not going to say the names of the people who ask the questions so the first question was how did you survive uct first year i hope i will go is that a question um honestly it was not that hard but like it was actually easy like i was more like excited for the journey ahead because like it's my first time at varsity it's just trying to adapt to the environment and yeah some people were like the city is it's, it's like a whole new environment so like it's either you die or you survive <laughs> so okay but here i am like i didn't die um they were like the environment is quite hard so like you, you have to adapt to new things and yeah now i get what we're talking about and some people were like, ah, oh, there will be people there with like accents and blah blah blah. How do you do? But no, any I don't know what it is. But I'm just like, I'm going to be shaking a lot now that like I'm no longer in my first year. I'm going to be shaking a lot. But like, I hope you are. If you're from UCT or any other institution and you're going, maybe like do seek help and yeah. Nasif man in case degree. Yeah, I'm going the second question is where do you normally buy your clothes and what is your daily skin retweet routine no. so i buy my clothes like when it, whenever i'm in a shop and i like something i just buy it so like i don't have specific shops where i buy my clothes but okay they are telling me to be like oh mr pricey where's mr price fix the fix which other shop Bullets. no I have like one item from Olet. Um, yeah, we do shop. Anything that's cheap, now. Like, that's me. Because like I don't like expensive clothes. So even even I'm a bit of like brands. I don't like that. Like no one cares about that. Either. Yeah, no one does. But like still, so like I don't like it. So you never see me shopping in Puma, Adidas, whatever. Whatever. What do you fear most in life? I fear being eaten alive by a lion and i'm sure some of you guys know this because there was this thing that i created on like instagram with i think it's a port or something yeah and then i was like i fear being more by a lion like more than anything else in life um this question do you still love zingisa you don't have to answer <laughs> No, no, no one to cry. A big So this other one, what is your toxic trait? I <laughs> Yo yeah. My toxic trait is that ne I'm revengeful. Like the revenge mean like if you did something to me, like I hold grudges, like I'm not gonna let it go. It's either I'm going to do something bad to you back or maybe I'll just beat you up. Oh, like that's my biggest toxic trait. Um like I can't hold my hands to myself, but I'm trying, like I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying now, but like I'm trying to like calm myself down. Whatever I'm angry, I don't I don't I don't fight anymore. I just try and calm myself down and walk away from the situation because babe, I don't wanna eh, no, yeah, same thing. What is your biggest insecurity? It's 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 my belly. Like you know, the you know, like I've got beer belly and but that won't stop me from drinking. Mm -mm. That's because you drink beer. Hey, when I don't teach your number, I've got beer belly. Then it sounds like you're complaining. I'm not complaining. I just, question to what's your biggest insecurity? 
a little complaint. What are your three biggest fears? One, being moved by a lion. Two, um, Luniko missing. Like, Luniko is my son. Like, yo, guys, people with children are missing and people, older people. So, like, I'm scared. Like, I'm scared for him. I'm scared for myself also. And the third one is to be. And the third biggest fear is if I were to be poor forever. I mean, I'm already poor, but like forever until I die. No, no. Don't want to let go. I got the city. It can't be for nothing. It can't be for nothing. This one is, is, oh, the person says random, but how old are you? I'm 20. I'm 20. So I'm not doing the one thing that I guess I'm period. Period. Okay, is there another? Okay, what keeps you motivated? Lunigo keeps me motivated. My mom keeps me motivated. Mm, yeah, like whenever I'm feeling down, like whenever like, I lock, I'm locking myself up in my room, like I don't want to do anything, and then I'll just think of my son and be like, "Go, you gotta, you better get your shit together, cause we've got a little bundle here, Abel, that I have to work hard for. As much as I work hard for myself too, but like, it's basically all for him more than it is for me, cause my life it no longer revolves around just me anymore. It also has to be about him. It is about him. Okay, so that's all. Um, how have you given meaning to your existence? What made you choose that? When I saw this question, I was like, like I thought long and hard about it. How have you given meaning? Yeah? When I do you understand this question? I do understand the question. Uh, explain. Do I? It, uh, how how have you given, given meaning, meaning to your, to your existence? Uh, what made you choose that? It's not a pen or an pen doing the offside to get like. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not to give it meaning, eh? Mm. But like, and the other. I know what, 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 what? I don't know what keeps you looking forward. I guess. And the woman and the other. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and say. Long since you, my brother. Since my man. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's Lonnie Koke. Period. Okay. Yeah, I think the the Instagram r r questions are done. Like I said, it's not <clears throat> many of them. Okay, so oh, there's also a Facebook question, but like from Facebook, I just got one question, and wow, Sana, I can't believe this person asked me this. <coughs> like, yo, Lucy. Okay, so the question is, hey, I have a question I've always wanted to ask. Why did you break up with your baby daddy? He is such a snack though. Okay, so like I responded, but I wasn't expecting that one. Huh? Okay, so why did we break up? <laughs> we broke up because uh, I came into varsity, so I was not going to stay at my cousin anymore because I was like, I'm going to stay at Reyes. So I guess that like, maybe like, and there's nobody, so I so, came on attend his names. But like, we also, we grew apart because there were new things that like I was learning. And so, yeah, like we grew apart because this is not funny. Not that I was not funny, but like I was learning new things and I was unlearning other things. If you get what I mean. Do you get what I mean? Mm. I do. Thanks. <laughs> So we are, we grew up at, learned new things, and learned some things. We were just like two different people in two different worlds, raising a cute bundle of joy. So I feel like co-parenting, it, it just worked better for us than a relationship did. So yeah, yeah when I, like, yeah, he was, I would say he was my first love. As in relationships, I would, I this is a plan. Okay, but now, 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 now,
Yeah. Okay, so I'm not weird. Yeah, you're not weird. Now I do have like the relationships that I do not consider as like the relationships. Same. Other people I say football and team and is it exes abo. Like cause no. So yeah, I feel like you know, he was like my first love. Yeah, like our relationship it was almost perfect. But born get cool almost. So what cool. Oh, he is such a snake though. Thank you on behalf of him. Maybe you can DM him and tell him that it's such a snake. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for the questions that I got from people. So I think I'm just gonna get like a few um a few questions from Google. Who is your hero? My mom. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Amsterdam. Um Why Amsterdam? I love Amsterdam and they ask why, but I just love it. Somehow. What shows are you are you into? The ones that ZZP. The Queen, the River and Stranger Things. Yeah? Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Uh, excuse me. I am disgusted. How to get out matter. <sighs> yeah. Breaking bed. No. You suck. What's your claim to fame? I'm not I'm not famous. It's fighting at Zebs on Instagram. No, my, my, I think my personality, I'm not necessarily famous, but like most people know me because of my personality, memes, I share a lot of memes on Facebook, and yeah, I'm generally a funny person. So I wouldn't say that makes me famous, but it makes like the people that know me. Yeah. How often do you play sports? I don't <laughs> play, play <laughs> sports ever. I mean, that's why I'm fat, because I don't. Um... I usually early or late. Eight.